Okay, hi guys. So today's video is going to be a little haul that I did with Makeup Revolution. And it's just a few bits and bobs that I've never tried before and some of their new products as well, especially from their sister companies. So some of the things that I did pick up in this box are skincare and beauty. So if you wanna see what your gal picked up from Makeup Revolution and what's caught my eye, then keep on watching. Okay, so the first item that I have here is the After Dark palette, which is by the sister company Makeup Obsession. And I've used one other palette from them and the palette was insane. I am in love with the packaging on this. Like, I just, I love like 3D kind of textured stuff on palettes. So let's show you how this looks. Oh. <laughs> so this is the palette out of the packaging and this is how it looks. I, I'm not gonna lie, I have got the eyeshadow on my eyes already. <laughs> I couldn't help it, like I wasn't gonna do it and then I thought, you know what, I just wanna dive into this. But this is literally me in a palette. I love muted autumn type colours and it's just, I feel like this is such a stunning, unique palette of colours because I just, this is literally the amount of like colours I want in one palette. I love this like navy green here, it's called Ink. I love Omnus, so that's why I have to use it today. And I just think it's so pretty. I feel like you could have like a day and night kind of look in this because they do have the nudes here. So it's kind of like you've got a two in one or maybe three in one palette. Obviously it comes with a mirror as well, which is perfect. It is a really good size and you can get your whole head in there. And the Omnus, which is like that deep red color, kind of surprised me quite a bit. That was so pigmented and I barely had to put much on my eyelid. Like I literally pat it, packed it on first and then blended it out and it didn't take away the product. They literally kept it where I needed it and blended so beautifully. And I'm not gonna lie, the witching hours shocked me as well. It might look a bit silvery on the camera. It's kind of looking like that for me, but it's like this nice kind of silver pink salmon color. I think that's how I'd describe it. I'm not too sure. Okay, so the next item that I did pick up was the Makeup Revolution, the Mascara Revolution. Mascara. I mainly picked this up because I am still on the hunt for a good budget mascara. My eyelashes are like non-existent. This is basically just a black colour and this is how the Dofa looks. And I did use some of this today when I did my eye look today and I ended up having to go in with my current mascara that I use. I'm gonna use it of course, I might just stick my current mascara wand into this one because I am running out, so you know, two in one. So yeah, I, I don't know what I was expecting from this, but it didn't live up too much to what I was hoping. I think that's the best way to put it. Moving on to another makeup item, I did pick up the Super Dewy Perfecting Putty Primer. So let's get this out actually, I haven't even got it out to look at it. So this is how it looks out of the packaging and I don't know if you've seen Makeup Revolutions, XX Revolution, sister range, but the lid here is really reminding me of that range because they added these like kind of droplets onto the outside of the packaging and I absolutely love that. I'm a huge fan of it. It's from their super dewy range that they've brought out and it's meant to be a mixture of skincare and beauty. So they've got hyaluronic acid in this, which is supposed to be really good for a poreless, smooth finish on your face. Inside, Hopefully you can see that. Yeah, inside. <laughs> Let's try that again. <laughs> inside you get a little spatula. This is to obviously help you to apply the primer. And I think this has got a lid on it, so I'm gonna, yeah it does. Let's take that off. So I'm actually just gonna get my finger in there. I don't wanna take any out, cause I wanna do some B-roll. But so far, okay. <laughs> this is quite satisfying. This is supposed to be a bomb. Really? So you're supposed to get it out with a spatula ideally and then it comes out like a balm and then you can melt it into your face and rub it all over. So I picked up two other items from the Makeup Obsession range and I picked up the Fluffy Brows Clear Brow, Brow Gel and I also picked up the So Fine Brow Pencil. Obviously now the whole fluffy brow thing has come into trend. I don't really want actual fluffy brows, I just want to kind of, because my eyebrows are quite dense in a way so it's like I could probably just comb them through with some sort of gel. So let's get the fluffy brow gel out of its packaging. I really like the packaging, you know, it's such a cute little, I don't know, statement, if you will. <laughs> so this is how it looks outside of the packaging. So this is six millimeters, which I think is quite standard for a brow gel. And okay, it just smells like a brow gel as well. Oh my God, that is so cute. Look how tiny. 
the little dough for it. I don't even know if you can probably see that, but that is so tiny. So if you have even thinner eyebrows than the average brow, then this, oh my God, I can imagine this would be perfect for tiny eyebrows. So yeah, it's clear and there's not much to it. Let's actually swatch it onto my hand. Yeah, that's just clear as day that. Doesn't feel tacky or anything when it's wet, but hopefully it does the job, of course. Okay, that's feeling the tiniest, tiniest bit tacky now, which isn't a bad thing, that's actually quite a good thing. It's not like a awful tacky feeling where it's like, ew. So let's open the brow pencil. Oh, I in, I'm in love with this. I don't know if it's just me liking the packaging, but this is so nice. It's like a matte feeling almost. You can tell, oh yeah, okay, this looks like it's gonna be really thin. So let's just swatch this and see. Okay, let's put it down because the amount of times I've broken a brow pencil. Okay, that's quite a cool, a very cool, almost black, dark brown. So I use the espresso pomade in from, in? <laughs> from NYX and I think this just about matches it. I've obviously got it on my brows now, not the pencil, but the pomade. I remember I did use a brow pencil from Makeup Revolution and it was one that everyone seemed to buy, but I couldn't, it just, I don't know, it just came out ashy, too like grey for me, so I just went straight back to NYX. So hopefully this is good on my brows. The last makeup product that I got was the Revolution High Brow Gel, the Cannabis Sati Sativa. So this is also a clear brow gel and it's just from their general revolution range. I know they brought out a few like cannabis sativa products, which is really good for your skin. Oh. So let me get this out. So pretty, I love the packaging so much. This is also six mil, so you bog standard again. And I absolutely love this packaging as well, just as much as the Makeup Obsession one. And I love this matte, clear bottle. I love, love, love stuff like this. They do so well in the packaging, honestly. So this brow gel does have the cannabis sativa seed oil in the formula. So that basically means when you've applied the product to your brows, it basically helps nourish and protect your brow hair. So it's basically a two in one with this. It's obviously meant to set your brows, help make them a bit fluffy, I guess, and also protect and nourish them. So it's really good. That's also mainly why I got it. Okay, moving on to skincare. I've got three products to show you guys. So I've got this little guy here. <laughs> And it's basically a cooling eye roller ball and it's so tiny, I'm not gonna lie, I didn't expect it to be this small. Let's get it out. So this is how the little guy looks. It's so tiny and cool. So how this little guy works is the top is supposed to help roll across the bottom of your eye, especially on your orbital bone. So the metal tip at the top is supposed to help boost circulation, push eye creams into the skin and relieve swollen eyes as well, which is really good and also tired looking eyes which is precisely what I need because I have a two, almost two year old daughter and I obviously suffer with a chronic illness so I am constantly fatigued and tired. Yeah, it's supposed to help make your complexion look brighter and less puffy under the eye, which is perfect, of course. What's also really cool about this, where the Revolution Skincare London logo is, this is actually meant to act like a little spatula. Also, the actual ball here, the gold part, the bigger ball here, is to really roll under your eye there. And the white tip is mainly to get into the delicate areas. And usually it would be best if you use your ring finger to push product in because that's the most softest tip we have on our fingers. But this little guy is supposed to really help continue that kind of skincare. But yeah, I'm really excited to see what this little guy can do and help with my eyes because I just need it. <laughs> I just need it. <laughs> Okay, so lastly, I have two eye creams that I've picked up and it's these two here. So I have the Revitalizing Caffeine Eye Cream and also the Perfecting Color Pigment Eye Cream. So I couldn't really decide which one to get really because my main concern with under my eye is just looking a bit dull, maybe a bit tired and I don't think I've got puffiness but it's always good to reduce it as much as possible. Obviously I do have an almost two year old daughter and I struggle and suffer with chronic pain. It does hit me a lot so I just wanna keep, you know, on top of my eye skincare not just let it get dull and tired. Which then kind of like makes me look a bit older than 25 I guess. <laughs> which I don't need. So let's get the caffeine one out. So this is how the caffeine eye cream looks. And again, like I said, this is vegan and also cruelty free. 
this is how it looks. That's the dough for that, it's a big boy. It doesn't really have a smell to it. It doesn't smell like caffeine and it doesn't smell like bad skincare or anything like that. So the caffeine is in there because it's thought to help depuff your eyes. So it's also formulated with grapeseed oil, which is supposed to help soften your skin. And also it's supposed to easily absorb into your skin as well. So it's not just kind of packed on top of your eyes and you've got to really rub it in. Right, so let's move on to the perfecting color pigments. Okay, that doesn't have a smell either. Oh, it looks like banana souffle or something in there. I'm not gonna lie, that looks quite tasty. So yellow is a really, really good color to correct any dark purple colors under the eyes especially. And it's to help soothe and brighten the skin and also even the skin tone out and help reduce the appearance of dark circles. So this also has jojoba oil in the formula. So if you do have dry, flaky, dull eyes, it will help condition and also soften the skin tone there. So it's really, really good. So let's actually swatch this and see how yellow this little guy is. Oh, okay. So I was, I don't know what I was expecting from this, but it isn't too yellow. I don't know if you can even see that. So it's actually a very transparent kind of yellowy cream, which I kind of like because I didn't want something too opaque. I'm most excited to actually try the skincare products out. After seeing Revolution do skincare, they market it so nicely and all the packaging is so premium looking and just so fun. It makes you want to use the products, you know? So it's like, I'm quite excited to try everything that they do with skincare. I do have their reusable cloths and also cotton pads and they are so freaking good. Okay, so that is it for today's video. If you did enjoy it, please leave a comment down below and let me know which product kind of interests you the most and if you've tried any of these already. And also don't forget to subscribe. Oh, <laughs> what happened to my mouth? And also if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel and I'll hopefully see you in my next video. Bye.